But remember, the more clicks, the more work, the more inconvenient. What up everyone, today we're doing portfolio reviews. If you guys don't know, I got a new email. It's mike at grindreel.com. You can send me your portfolios, resumes. I'm gonna review them on my channel. I'm gonna try and do one or two review videos a week. Right now I have enough that I can actually split it into different videos, but if one week I only have like one resume, two projects and one portfolio, maybe I'll put them into one video. Everything I'm gonna say in this video is purely based off my opinion, my experiences, and sometimes facts, but take it with a grain of salt. Don't strictly listen to me, but maybe just take into account what I have to say. If you guys have any advice for anyone who's given their portfolio, maybe I said something that you don't agree with, feel free to go in the comments and let us know and we can have a little discussion and figure it out. All right, so let's get right into it. So here we got Kevin's portfolio website. This thing looks good, looks clean. One thing off the bat that looks a bit weird to me is this slanted line here. I'm not sure what you're trying to go with here because nothing else on the page seems to be slanted. So I don't know if that's a mistake or if that's on purpose, but I would just take that into account. You've got your LinkedIn, GitHub, YouTube, and resume. Let's see. All right, so YouTube's empty, but cool. This resume take me to a download link. Perfect. So first thing we see is your skills here. That's cool, that's fine, but I wouldn't put it as the first thing on your site. I would move it down to something else because I want to see your projects. Your portfolio, think about it almost like a store for your projects. You want it to be the easiest to make a sale. And in this case, the sale is hiring you and getting that job. So you got some projects here. They look good. Let's see what this link brings us to. Okay, so it brings us to an Heroku app. It's gonna take a minute to load. So while that loads, I'm gonna look here. Do I have a code link? I do. I feel like that GitHub button is a bit hidden there. So maybe move it down to a button here that says hosted app and code or something like that. I like that you show the tools that you've used. That's good. I always like to see that. Maybe a little bit more of a description, like what the site is. You got a bunch of empty space here. So, you know, feel free to, to do more things. There may be even more screenshots. Make it like a grid of screenshots. That's up to you. I like the style. It's very clean. You're taking me through your sites. You got your calculators. So yeah, you got the code and you got the project for each one. That's perfect. Nice job. At the bottom, we've got two Udemy courses that you've done, it seems like. Oh, so this is your education. So right away that, that got me off a bit because it doesn't seem to be very aligned. So maybe fix that up. And the font's very small, so it kind of feels like that thing at the bottom where it says like contact us or about us or company values or whatever. So maybe make it a bit bigger if you want to emphasize it more. But again, this is something that should be going on your resume. One thing I would do for email is have a contact form. So um, there's actually another project that has one of those, but you have an email input and a box that says, what's your message? And it automates the email straight to you. So it's super easy. Cause with this, it opens up this windows email stuff. And I never use this and it's pretty annoying. Cause now I have to go and find your email and copy paste it into Google or sign in with a Google account into this app, which I don't want to do. So, like I said, it'd be a lot easier to just have a contact form. Nice job, Kevin. Now we're going to move on to Elizar's website. If I'm pronouncing it wrong, excuse me. I think I'm just going to say Ali if that's okay. We got here experience, UI, UX design, and resume. That's perfect. Big buttons. Let's see. Oh, that's really cool. All right. So projects, what happens when I click on this? Oh, so this is a design project. Okay. Got it. So there's not going to be any code. Now it's great that you want to make it so I can see all the projects you have but make sure they're all projects that you're comfortable with because some people might go and decide they don't even want to click on these, they might click on view more and they might make their judgment based off of a project that you might not want to show. So just take that in, into account. This is really cool. I don't understand this design here, how it goes one, two, three. I would just go with the simple list or grid. But again, that's just my personal preference. I'm not the UX guy, you are. You got resume here. Seems the link's broken. Oh, I right clicked, Never mind. So you got download resume. This is perfect. You got email and everything. That's awesome. Here you got some of your skills, which I thought were clickable. Here you got your social medias. I would get rid of those. I would keep the GitHub, LinkedIn, but Facebook and Instagram, I would not put there. They don't need to know your personal information. They just need to know if you're good for the job. If they want to know if you're a good culture fit, they'll figure that out when they give you an interview, which is the whole point of all this work. Because this is not what's going to get you the job. This is what's going to get you the interview. And then basing the interview is what's going to get you the job. So anyone can go and make a good portfolio and spend a year on it. But interview is on the, on the spot, in the moment. And that's when they really make a good judgment if you're good or not for that job. All right, now we're on to... Kelvin's 
project. Kelvin, one thing I'm gonna say right away is your website is not secure. So I did have to tell Google to trust it. That right away would have been a red flag for an HR person. So make it secure. Don't make them feel uncomfortable. Make it a fun experience for them to go onto your site. I'm loving this, super simple. It is a lot of white space though, and I'm trying to get through this portfolio as fast as I can to know if you're good or not, or I'm gonna move on to the next one. So maybe fill this in with some information that's relevant towards figuring out if you're good or not good. I get the, the JS meme here, but I'm not sure if you should do that. This is a portfolio website. I'd be putting your name here. So first thing we see here is about me and education. These are things that should be at the bottom or on your resume. What you could do is you can throw the about me up in here and then you can right away go to your project and education could be at the bottom because that should be on your resume and this is meant to see your project. I'm absolutely loving this display here. You put your mouse over, the color pops in and it gets bigger than all of the other ones. I'm loving that. This is super awesome. I feel like I should have done this on my portfolio a while back. Here we got the repo. What happens if we click on this? Do we get a hosted link? Okay, cool. So we got the code and we got the hosted link. One thing I'm gonna say right now is try to make it the hosted link, instead of it taking over the current tab you're in, make it, have it open another tab so that I can always just close it and go back. That's just a personal preference. I can always click on the back button, but it happens where you go here and then you get lost in the website and you just start going through pages and then you realize, oh crap, I closed the portfolio. So that's just a personal, personal preference. These projects look really good kind of want to go through some of them. Let's see. These are really nice. They don't really scale well, I don't think, on my monitor. And this one seems to be loading in the assets a bit slow, so maybe look into why it's doing that. These look really good. This is a fully interactive prototype. Now, can I use it? That's really cool. I didn't even know Adobe XD does it, so I can actually use it okay that's really cool nice job i would even make a video maybe explaining the app and taking people through it if you're comfortable with doing that here we got your skills thank you for not putting that at the top because that is what's meant to be on your resume you say react coming soon i would not do that either you put react or not coming soon it's subjective like to me that seems like you've done one line of react and you say you want to do it or that's like saying you want to do it but you've never actually done it why work with me passionately about development quick learner Adapt. Sounds good. I feel like the font, at least on my monitor, doesn't really pop out, so you can make it a little bit bigger or a little bit more bold. This is probably what it looks like on your computer, but again, I'm on a bigger monitor, so I get that awkward stretch. At the bottom here, you got your resume link, I'm assuming, Instagram, email, and GitHub. Again, for emails, it's easiest if you put a contact form. It's super easy. You don't even need to have a back end for this. There's a couple of packages out there for front end that you could do it and it's really easy. Resume download link I put at the top. I don't think you did. Yeah, so again, all this white space, I would fill it in with a bunch of things. I would, first of all, put your name here. You could do the Brito.js maybe somewhere else on this, but your name is important. To figure out your name, I actually have to go up here and read Kelvin Brito, front end developer, just because for a second I forgot your name and I closed the email. So nice job, Kelvin. We're gonna move on to Mateo Brogan's website. Let's refresh it because I think there was an animation. Hello, Mateo Brogan, iOS and full stack developer. Nice. Now let's see what we're working with. This gives me a big Apple feel. I feel like I'm using an iPhone right now. Wait, did, this load, did those load, load in late or was it just me? Yeah, so, so I can't actually, this is like rule I learned when I was building my portfolio, which is never withhold information with an animation. Like animations are cool, but the second that they hold information back or stop the user from using the site, that's bad because you're kind of putting them on a constraint of how fast they can use your website. So I would load these in right away. I didn't even notice them, but email here, LinkedIn, GitHub, and Apple, what says like your Apple developer? Uh, oh, your Apple store, you got some apps on here. Okay, cool. Let me move on to this so I can see the apps. So skills, we got mobile development, perfect web development, backend development, looks good. I would break this up maybe front end and back end. Again, skills are not the most important thing to put on your portfolio site. That is for your resume, so you should be putting that at the bottom and your projects at the top. We got some nice projects here, but we don't have much of a description of what they are other than the name. What happens if I click on this? Okay, so it opens up in the app store. Is there any way for me to test it without having to download it? That's really cool. So I can actually go through the pages by clicking this button. That's really cool. Thank you for doing that, Mateo. 
what I would do is go on YouTube and, or go on your phone and screen record and post it to YouTube of you actually using the app. I'd make it so I don't have to download the app. I don't have to see pictures. I can actually see the app being, like, see you using the app in case there's any animations or anything specific you can't show through picture. Or you can always do a GIF and then shove the GIF within that picture. So you go and you, you play with the app. Let's say you play with the homepage app and you have the GIF play inside this phone and also I'd make it a little bit bigger just because I can't really see what's inside there without really getting myself close to it maybe if I make it bigger okay so if I make it bigger it's a little bit more clear but yeah this stuff looks really good I'm loving this portfolio it really gives me the Apple feel and here you here you go guys this is what I was talking about this is beautiful by the way I don't know what you used for this but that is a very nice contact form nice little drop shadow on there did you make this yourself it looks like you made it yourself but I could be wrong yeah it looks like he actually made it himself and made by Matteo Brogan in 2019 that is a great portfolio guys this is what you want to go for simple clean very fast move the skills out of the way I want these projects shoved in my face remember the more clicks the more work the more inconvenient and it's not that it's a bad thing it's just the HR people are going through so many portfolios that they, they lose the sense for design and now it's just trying to get the job done. So great job, Mateo, thank you for submitting. All right, so now we're going over Ryan's project. Ryan, the first thing I wanna say is, as cool as this background is and as cool as your text is, they're kind of blended in together. The background's very busy and it's hard for me to see you know, what's going on. So what I would do is add a big black box, maybe with an opacity, uh, in between the text and the background to contrast the text and actually make it pop out more because right now there's like this blue and white in the background and it's just it's hurting my eyes just my personal preference download my resume you got github stack overflow linkedin uh, code pen instagram skype facebook and email i would get rid of instagram skype and facebook if they need that which they shouldn't they can always ask you Email, you can make contact form if you'd like. If not, you could just do this. Personal preference, I hate this Windows Microsoft email app, so I try not to use it. If I scroll down, I get pushed into this where it says about me. All right, cool. Again, contrasting, it, it's very tough to see with the background. Does it change with size? Nope, it's still very busy. It's so bright in the background, it's so overexposed, and then you got this, it just, it doesn't make sense. So. Either lower the opacity of the background or shove a box around this, you know, to make it pop out more. Because look at this, it's kind of hard to see. You see how the E right here is blending in with the white background right there? That's just personal preference. If anyone agrees with me, please let me know in the chat and we can tell Ryan that I'm not the only one. This is really cool. So this is all of these things you've done. This is websites. Now, if I click on it, what happens? Visit page, visit... Okay, that's perfect. That is perfect. You got a lot of projects on here, so make sure that you're comfortable with all of these because they might click on one and they make a judgment off of that one specific project. Languages you know. You got the skills here. These are just boxes. That's perfect. APIs I may use. That's cool. And now... Oh, here we go. So right here, you got contact form. So maybe if you'd like, if you want to stop this, uh, this mail button from opening up this app, you can actually click this and it can auto scroll you down to the contact form. That would work too. But really cool portfolio, Ryan. I hope with those couple little changes, this thing will look a lot better. You guys feel free always to resubmit or we could do like a video where we go back over like 20 or 30 portfolios very quickly and just see like the changes they made and if they fixed it, if it looks better, if it looks worse, that could be cool. All right, so we do got a couple more portfolios, but this video is already very long, so I'm gonna save them for the next video. So for those of you who emailed it to me and it didn't get reviewed, I'm sorry, but we're gonna go and use Do You in the next video, so you can be one of the first ones. The email is mike at grindreel.com. I'm gonna review them at least once a week, and I really hope these videos are valuable. I'm still trying to figure out how to portray the way I feel about a certain feature in a constructive criticism type of way, not just like, this looks terrible, or this is uh, absolutely amazing, and you know, overhype it or underhype it. Excuse me for that, but I really hope this video was valuable to each and every one of you, and thank you so much everyone for being here and being a part of this video. I'm gonna go and film tomorrow's video, which is how to do proper documentation on your... See you guys tomorrow.